Yo, what's up? Today, I'll show you how to actually improve your After Effects preview performance, cause many people use the software wrong and then complain about why After Effects is ass when it's actually their own fault. I made this video for you guys, cause there is no one else on YouTube actually covering this topic completely. And I was once a beginner too, that didn't know shit about the program. So yeah, I hope that in the end, y'all don't have any more problems with After Effects. I noticed that most people think they need to buy new hardware, but the actual problem might just be that they don't actually know how After Effects works and how to use it correctly. We'll start out right away first with the software part and then with the hardware part. I'll have timestamps for you in the description to make it easier for you to navigate. First, we're gonna talk about the footage that you use in After Effects. You should never ever use video files that have H.264 format they most of the times end with the .mp4 file extension. For audio, it's the same with mp3 footage, it's super bad. The reason for that is simply that these formats are highly compressed, and After Effects needs to decompress all your footage before preview. Basically, it puts a ton of load on your CPU for no reason, and we want to remove that for a faster preview and less lag. What you can do is just cut all your footage in After Effects, and render it to lossless or ProRes 422HQ for video. For audio, render it to WAV. Out of everything in this video, this will probably help you the most. Trust me. Here are some more tips to fix After Effects lag. This list basically should cover all the little things in After Effects. Always empty your cache. Do this regularly to remove some unnecessary data and to basically refresh your timeline. Let's go into our preferences. I'm gonna show you some settings you can change that will help your performance quite a bit. Hover over Edit and then on Preferences, click on Preview. In there, set Zoom and Color Management Quality to Faster. Next, set your Adaptive Resolution to somewhere in the middle. In older versions than After Effects 2025, you can also click a more middle option. Click on Display and then play around with the setting called Hardware Accelerate Compositions. This option may speed up or slow down your workflow. A rule of thumb is that all hardware newer than 2021 will probably speed up. Now go on media and disk cache and select a good location for your cache. You wanna give it a lot of space, preferably around 300 gigabytes. In memory and performance, turn on multi-frame rendering. Remember that this option only exists in After Effects 2022 and newer. This option can give you up to four times better performance depending on your CPU. Your CPU should have at least six cores to profit from this setting. If you have 16 gigabytes RAM, allocate four gigabytes to your PC. If you have 32, keep around 6 to 8 for your PC. If you have 64 gigabytes or more, keep around 10 to 12 gigabytes for your PC. I also wanted to talk about the myth that people spread around about After Effects. Those people basically say that After Effects 2020 performs better than 2025, or that 2022 is better than 2021 and so on. This is wrong in so many ways. I tested all After Effects versions from 2019 to 2025, and I had the same performance everywhere. On bigger projects, I profited from versions 2022 and up because of the multi-frame rendering setting. I personally recommend you the newest version 2025 because of the UI GPU acceleration and the 3D features that come with it. I also want to mention that it has Rotobrush 3.0 which is way better than 2.0 or 1.0. Last software tip I can give you is to use proxies. Proxies are basically low quality renders of your composition that you can turn on and off anytime you want. They help a lot while previewing because if you're done with editing on a clip, you can just turn it into a proxy and then when you preview the whole thing, it won't lag because it's already rendered in place. When you feel like you want to see the whole thing on full quality, you can just switch off the proxy too. To create a proxy, select your composition or layer, pre-compose if necessary, and then go into that pre-composition. Then, hover over File, click Create Proxy, choose Movie, and then Render. If you want to turn off the proxy, just look for that composition in your media browser and uncheck the box. Now getting to the hardware part, I am first gonna talk about what hardware After Effects actually uses and for which purpose. Then, I will recommend you what to get if you're planning to build a new PC or upgrade your components, or even if you are looking for a laptop. I will first try to cover normal desktop PCs. This part kind of translates into laptops too, but I will still have some extra for laptops. First off, the CPU renders all your frames in your After Effects preview. It is the device that calculates every pixel in your clip, meaning, if you have a fast CPU, it will render your preview fast too. In After Effects 2022 and up, you even have multi-threaded rendering that I've shown before. 
That option basically means that you use all cores of your CPU instead of just one to render a frame. So yeah, that is basically massive free performance. All those rendered frames are stored in your RAM. Your RAM is like a really fast but temporary disk space where your PC can access those rendered frames from and display them to you. After getting stored into your RAM, you're likely going to run out of space or stay idle, and then After Effects proceeds to cache your frames into your actual disk. The faster that disk is, the faster you can cache all your stuff and preview the edit. If you have an extremely fast CPU, but only a little amount of RAM, you have to wait for everything in your RAM space to cache into your disk. This basically means that having an extremely fast CPU or a fast SSD will not do shit if the other components aren't as fast too. The purpose of the GPU in After Effects is actually not really big. Some effects may use the GPU for acceleration, but other than that, the GPU only speeds up the final render. If you want a fast workflow and fast preview, you shouldn't necessarily care about the GPU right now. If you use 3D, the GPU is very important, but this video is sadly not going to cover that. Now that you know what everything does in After Effects, I'm going to explain and recommend you some of the latest hardware components there are on the market right now. Starting out with CPU, currently, there are two big companies that deliver most of the CPUs called Intel and AMD. The 9950X3D is probably the best, but also most expensive CPU for After Effects right now. I'd recommend this one if you have the money, or the 9700X, or 9600X, if you are a little bit on a smaller budget. If you can find an older used 7950X or 7900X, you can also get those and will be more satisfied than having a 9700X for example, as they have double the amount of cores. Also, if you need more help or different recommendations depending on your situation right now, you can join our editing server called Serenity. We're a little editor community for both After Effects and DaVinci Resolve, so you can actually get a lot of help for both softwares if you need help on that. If you don't need help, still just join bro. It's not that deep. Feel free to hop on voice chats, we're open for everyone. Moving on to the RAM. You want to actually buy newer parts nowadays, so it would be better if you went for a DDR5 platform. The speeds here aren't really necessary. The amount is way more important. The minimum for After Effects I'd say is 16 gigabytes. Less is bad, more is better. The sweet spot for most things is 64 gigabytes of RAM. Next, SSD, you wanna have a really fast one. The minimum speeds I recommend are 3000 megabytes per second in reading and writing. There are some really good ones that aren't really that much more expensive that already have around 7000 megabytes per second. You also want a good amount of space. One terabyte is not enough for me, so I have two, one terabyte SSDs right now, but actually plan to upgrade that, but remember to always buy more only if you actually need it. Remember that all those episodes and shit take up a lot of space too. Trust me on this one. Don't cheap out on the disc, cause you will regret it. Shit is like buying cereal, but no milk. Talking about the GPUs really quick, I always recommend to have Nvidia if you're going for creative work and stuff like this. AMD GPUs are only good for gaming. Now quickly talking about laptops, they're not really any different from what I said above, but always check that you have a good amount of RAM in your laptop. Most gaming laptops usually only come with 8 or 16 gigabytes of RAM, and that won't really do it in After Effects. Here again, join the Discord server if you need advice on deciding what to buy. I'm mostly active there and free to help people about this stuff. I also wanted to mention that if you're rich, you can go for a MacBook Pro. Those chips are really damn fast, but Apple usually charges a lot for more RAM. So yeah, only if you're rich as fuck. That's basically it. Remember, you usually don't need new hardware. Try all the software advice I gave you first, and if you're still unsatisfied, consider getting new components. Please consider joining the Discord server and subscribing. It would motivate me to work on new projects and not just fool around like the last couple of months. See ya!